Alright boys and girls and welcome to Gordon Guitar. We have Michael Schulte here with Rehab. This song is called Waterfall. A cool song that has four chords that goes round and round in the same order through the entire song. We have the cool uh, notes here added to it so it gives us that much more to the song if we can nail that. So we'll try to do our best. And uh, let's start from beginning here, capo on fifth. With that, we have easiest chords, but also chords that uh, gives us the possibilities to add in the cool notes and make something to that as well. So capo on fifth, and with that, we have A minor, C, G, and F in that order. So let's go over the chords. We have first A minor, that is open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. Next one is C, so that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. Then we have G, so that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. And the final chord is F. You can do that in two different ways. So we're gonna look at the bar chord first. That's a bar placed on the first fret of our all strings. And then the rest will be third on A, third on D, and second on G. But uh, since we're working with the notes here to build in these in the strumming pattern, uh, one way could be to use the shorter version of F. It's the F major seven, then it's third on D, second on G, first on B, and then yeah open E. We don't need that one, but anyway, that's F major. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this uh, chord progression here. Like I said, it goes in order we learn the chords, so A minor, C, G, and F. Uh, if you don't want to play notes added to it, you can just play the strumming pattern, and it's good to start with that, so we're gonna do that. It's down, clap, down, down, clap, down. So, like this. Down, clap, down, down, clap, down. So down, clap, down, down, clap, down. That's the rhythm, and you play one round per chord, one strumming round per chord. So with the chord progression, it goes like this. take it on extra level to get the notes as well. So we're gonna look at the chords uh, now, chord by chord, and look at the notes. So we're gonna follow the exact same strumming pattern, and with the downs there we're gonna build in some notes as well. So the first down in this um, style here will always be the bass notes, okay? So for A minor, you start here on the A, you can just bring one down there on A, D, G string or so, somewhere on the bass. Then comes the clap, if we just follow the pattern here, the strumming pattern. And then comes two downs, here we're gonna try to pick the notes, first fret B string and third fret B string. So, so when we do the downs, we do short downs around the B string. We bring in perhaps the G as well, or perhaps even, uh, no, actually not the E. So just stay with the G, B string there. Try to hit the first fret B string, third fret B string. Then comes the clap. And the final down is the open E. That is the A minor. So again, down on bass, then clap, then comes the two downs on the first fret and third fret B string, then comes the clap, and then the open E. 
And when you hit the notes there, uh, you're gonna stay and focus on the actual string, but also incorporate strings around, usually the string above. So above plus the note string. Then we'll go to the C, follows the same pattern. So again, one down on the bass strings around the A and D string or so. And then comes the clap. Then we have the same notes emphasized there. So first fret B string, third fret B string on the next two downs. Then comes the clap. And you finish off with the open E string on the final down. So follow the same pattern, A minor and C. Then comes the G now. Here, uh, it's enough if you just hold the third frets on E and second on A. You could even skip the second on A. The most important here is to get the bass here on the third fret E string. So it's enough if you just hold like this. I use my ring finger here because you have to work around your finger you're using on the bass. So I use my pinky uh, on this side and my index on this side, all right? You could do that as well. It's up to you. I'm more used to this grip here. All right, so I use my ring finger on the third fret E string. I hit the down there and the clap. And the two notes now that follows on the two downs is the open B and then first B. So, and then comes the clap. And the final down is on the third B. So that is the G part, so. And then we have the final chord, the F. Now it's up to you. I showed you both uh, variations here in the introduction of this tutorial with the F major, but also with the full F. So if you go with the full F, you will hold the full chord as it is and hit one down there and then clap. And then comes the two notes. And they are the second fret G string and the open B string. So down, clap, second G, and then open B, and then comes the clap. And then you end with the first fret B string. This could be a little bit tricky because this is a bar chord, so you need to release everything, but you get the open B string. Okay, so that is why it's a little bit tricky. And therefore you could use the F major. And the down part with this is that you don't have this real bass, so you have to play the bass around the D string there, so. And the first kick there, so. As, you, as soon as you did that and clap, then it's actually easier to go with the F major. Of course, you have the second G there. And you have to just release the index finger like this. You don't have to release everything from the bar chord. So. And then clap and then first fret B string. So it's up to you if you want to have a hard time in the beginning here. Uh, with the bass you go with the F major. And if you want to have a hard time later on in the open B string you go with the F sharp. Uh, sorry F bar chord here. So it's up to you. I prefer the full chord here. I'm used to release everything and go back again. It's up to you. It's a matter of taste. But that is what's going on here in this song. Michael Schulte and Waterfall. So, um, yeah. Give it a try, guys. Cool song to learn. And if you don't handle the notes uh, already, go with the strumming pattern. Get used to that. And then gradually build in the notes when you are familiar with the strumming pattern and that's the way to go so good luck with this one guys and play tuned